This is the course Mechanical Vibrations. Today we will cover vibration of two degrees of freedom system subjected to harmonic forces. My name is Carmen Mueller Carter. Some of the figures and the content of this presentation is adapted from our textbook Mechanical Vibrations from RAM. And we are covering chapter 5 and chapter 6. We have our equation of motion in matrix 4 with the mass, damping, and stiffness matrices. We have our vector of generalized coordinates, and then we have harmonic forces. They can be expressed in terms of a cosine or a sine function or either a exponential forces to the i omega t. Remember that the response will always be the response due to initial conditions, which is the homogeneous solution plus the particular solution. We are focusing in this presentation to find the particular solution for harmonic forces in steady state. For that, we will use two methods, similarly as the, as the ones we used for the homogeneous solutions in the previous lectures when we had initial conditions. The two methods are finding the response using directly the generalized coordinates, and the second method is converting the system to principal coordinates for what we have to decouple the system of equation, finding the solution for the principal coordinates as two one degrees of freedom system, and finding then the response in terms of these principal coordinates. Let's find then the response for harmonic forces for undamped system using the first method, which is with the generalized coordinates. Step one is always finding the equation of motion. For an undamped system, the equation of motion has this form. The generalized coordinate vector has this form, and the harmonic external force is either any of the three forces. The steps two is to find the steady state response of this type of equation. As we know, the response has the same shape of the external force, and it vibrates at the same forcing frequency omega. This is the response, this is the first derivative, and this is the second derivative of the response. If we introduce this response and the second derivative into our original equation, we get this matrix right here. And as you see, we can find the amplitude of the response, since these two terms are equal, by inverting this matrix over here. This matrix is what is called the mechanical impedance matrix and is a function of the properties of the system, which is the mass matrix and the stiffness matrix, and the forcing frequency. This equation right here represents then the amplitude of the response to harmonic forces. If we want to use the second method using the principal coordinates, that's very similar to what we have done before for the response to initial conditions. If we want to have the procedure for an undamped spring mass system, the first step is to get the equation of motion in matrix form. The second step is to get the eigenvalues, which represent the square root of the natural frequency of the system. We get the eigenvectors, which are the vibration modes that allows us to get the modal matrix, which are the columns, represent the each of the vibration modes. Then we perform the following change of variable that we convert the generalized coordinates in terms of the principal coordinates and multiply the whole equation by the transpose matrix of the modal matrix. That allows us to get the uncoupled principal matrix and then we have been able to transform two degrees of freedom system in a two system of one degree of freedom. We find the response of the principal coordinates and the final step is to do again the change of variable to calculate the generalized coordinate response in terms of the response of the principal coordinates. Let's do one example using both methods. 